Hi, Ian here. So you want to start building Atlassian Cloud Apps and integrations with your Mac? To get you started in that journey, you need to install the Forge CLI. Go to this documentation page and follow the step-by-step -step guide. First step, we need to install a supported LTS release of Node.js. To do that, let's install NVM first. Clicking this link will lead us to NVM's installation guide. Copy the curl command and paste it to your terminal. After hitting the return button, scripts to install NVM will be downloaded and run. Once that's done, check your shell's configuration file if the aliases needed has been set. Depending on the shell that you use, you either check the bash RC or Z shell RC. Just in case this export command is missing, which sometimes happens depending on your profile's path, I copied it to my clipboard. Since I am using Z shell, I'll check Z shell RC. As you can see here, the command to export NVM Deer has already been added, so I no longer need to edit the file. In case you do not have it on yours, you simply copy and paste the export command from NVM's installation guide. Before we move on to installing Node.js, open a new terminal window or tab to make sure that the new export command in your shell's RC file gets called. Calling nvm-v will give us the NVM version if installed successfully. That looks good. Now we're ready to install Node.js. Copy the command nvm install dash dash LTS. This command will download and install the latest LTS release of Node.js. If this is the first version of Node you installed, then it automatically sets it to default. If you have other Node versions, then you need to call nvm use dash dash LTS to use the latest LTS version. As always, let's verify if our Node setup was successful by checking its version. With Node.js installed, we are now ready to install the Forge command line interface, or CLI for short. To install the Forge CLI globally, we'll use the command npm install g at forge slash CLI. Forge CLI will be the interface for building, managing, and deploying Forge apps. If you're already familiar with Node.js, you can see that installing the Forge CLI is similar to installing other packages. Let's check if it has been installed successfully. Run the command forge dash dash version. Okay, that looks good. Forge CLI is now successfully installed. Create your first Forge app. We first need to generate our Atlassian API token so we can log into the Forge CLI. To generate your API token, go to this link. This API token paired with your Atlassian account email address will be used to log in to the CLI. Click on the Create API Token button to start creating your token. A pop-up will appear that will ask for your token name to identify it as well as an expiration date. Hit the Create button and wait for the token to be generated. The generated token cannot be recovered so make sure to store it somewhere safe. In this tutorial, I press the Copy button to store it in the clipboard. Now, we have all we need to log in to the Forge CLI. Go back to your terminal and type the command forge login. The prompt will ask you to enter the email address you used for your Atlassian account. The next prompt will ask for your API token. So paste your API token here. Do note that the token will not be visible, so keep watch of the jumping cursor. Once you're logged in, congratulations! You have now set up your Forge CLI and can start building your Forge apps. Let's do a quick recap. Step 1. Set up your Node Version Manager or NVM. Once successful, use NVM to install an LTS version of Node.js. Step 2. Install the Forge command line interface. To install the Forge CLI, we use the Node Package Manager. Step 3. Go to the developer console and generate your API token. Remember, you can only access the token once, so make sure to copy and store it in a safe location. 
Lastly, you are now ready to log in to your Forge CLI. Remember to use your Atlassian account's email address and its corresponding API token. And that's a wrap! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed and learned from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Atlassian developer content.